Oi, como vai? Tudo bem? Welcome back to Portuguese Lessons with Professor Jason. Today what I'd like to do is present lesson number six in my Brazilian Portuguese for Fun series, which coincides with the course I'm teaching here at Missouri State University. So in lesson six in Portuguese for Fun, what we're going to talk about is how to form questions using everyday or common verbs. I'm going to walk you through three or four types of different question formation techniques that I like to use. The first is just a simple yes or no question. The second has to do with using interrogative words such as when, where, with whom, etc. People do things. And then lastly, we're going to take a look at a slightly more complex type of question and answer technique, which is asking people what they do. So let's go ahead and get started asking questions with everyday verbs. Okay, so we're going to start with the simplest type of question to ask and answer, just asking people whether they do things or not. It's a simple yes or no question. You can see at the top of the slide, the formula is to ask você, and it's missing a circumflex accent, você plus the verb. So for example, você estuda espanhol? Você estuda espanhol? Estudo sim. Remember, that's how we answer. We conjugate the verb in the present tense. Estudo sim. Or no. Não estudo espanhol. Você trabalha muito? Você trabalha muito? Trabalho sim, trabalho muito. I work a lot, yeah. Não, não trabalho muito. No, I don't work too much. Você mora perto do centro? Do you live? Again, these are just yes or no questions. Você plus the verb plus whatever additional information. Você mora perto do centro? Moro sim, moro sim. Não, não moro perto do centro. Moro longe do centro. I live far from downtown. So again, I'm asking você plus the verb plus whatever add-on material I want to know about. And it's just a yes or no answer. Estudo sim. Trabalho sim. No. No trabalho. Etc. All right. A variation on the type of simple yes or no question we were dealing with on the previous slide would be to ask people which thing they do. In other words, to give the person you're asking a simple choice between alternatives. These questions can take a couple of forms, both on this slide. You can ask somebody, again, my bose is missing the circumflex accent on my formula here. You can say, do you verb something or something else? For example, você estuda espanhol ou francês? Estuda espanhol ou francês? person has a choice, right? Estudo francês ou estudo espanhol. Or they might say both. Estudo os dois idiomas. Or you can ask, do you verb or verb, right? Do you one verb or two verb? Você trabalha ou estuda? Do you work or study? Você trabalha ou estuda? Trabalho. Trabalho bastante. I work quite a bit. Or faço as duas coisas. I do both things. Trabalho e estudo. But again, these are very simple questions to ask and to answer, especially to answer, because the person answering just picks one of the alternatives. Você estuda espanhol ou francês? Espanhol. Francês. Você mora perto ou longe do centro? Do you live close or far from downtown? Você mora perto ou longe do centro? Moro bem perto do centro. I live pretty close, or very close to downtown. Moro muito longe do centro. I live very far from downtown. So, these are or questions. Do you do this or that? Or do you verb or verb? Another variation on the simple yes or no question is to ask people if they like to do things. And this is very simple to do also. You just add the phrase, gosta G plus the verb in the infinitive, the unconjugated form. So look at the examples. Você gosta de estudar? Do you like to study? Again, it's a yes or no question. Gosto sim. Gosto sim. Você gosta de trabalhar? Do you like to work? Gosto sim. Or no. Não gosto de trabalhar. So once again. Você gosta de estudar? Gosto sim. Adoro estudar. I really love studying. Or, você gosta de estudar? Não, 
não gosto de estudar. So yes or no question. Você gosta de trabalhar? Gosto sim. Gosto muito de trabalhar. Não. Não gosto de trabalhar. Just some alternative ways of answering either yes or no. By the way, this formula can be tweaked a little bit because you could, where, where I have the first phrase underlined, gosto de, you could add things like quer. Right? Você quer estudar? Do you want to study? Quero sim. Yes, I do. Você quer trabalhar? Quero sim. Yes, I want to. Or you could add the expression, I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Um, gosto de, quer. You could add, vai. Are you going to? Você vai estudar? Vou sim. Yes, I'm going to study. Você vai trabalhar? Are you going to work? Vou sim. Vou trabalhar hoje à noite. I'm going to work this evening. So, so far we've been looking at either very simple yes or no questions or alternatives. Do you do this or that? On the next three slides, we're going to look at how to form questions using interrogative pronouns. Those question words, right? Like um, when, with whom, why, etc. Okay. So the first one we're going to look at is when. Asking about when people do things. Our interrogative pronoun here is quando. Quando. Okay. So the formula is quando você, again missing my accent, quando você, and then the verb. For example, quando você trabalha. When do you work? Quando você trabalha. Trabalho hoje. I work today. Trabalho amanhã. Trabalho todo dia. Trabalho segunda, quarta e sexta. I work Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Okay. Quando? Or I could ask more specifically, what time do you do something? A que horas? A que horas você trabalha? Trabalho às oito da manhã. Or trabalho às duas da tarde. A que horas você trabalha? Many times, native speakers will leave off the A ah, and just say, que horas? Que horas você trabalha? Trabalho das... Trabalho das oito da manhã até as cinco da tarde. Another interrogative or question word we could use to ask questions about people's activities would be onde, where, onde. Onde você plus the verb. Onde você mora? Moro em Springfield. Onde você está? Where are you right now? Onde você está? Estou em casa. Estou em casa. Onde você estuda? Onde você estuda? You can see that formula, right? Question word, você, conjugated verb. Onde você estuda? Estudo na biblioteca. I study at the library. Estudo na faculdade. I study at the university or on campus. Onde você trabalha? Onde você trabalha? Trabalho numa loja. Trabalho na loja do meu pai. I work at my father's store. So, formula is question word, você, plus the conjugated verb, onde, asking where people do things. Now, the last interrogative pronoun type question we're going to look at in this section is com quem, a variation of the simple quem, who, right? With whom? Com quem? So, interrogative pronoun, com quem, você, and then the verb we want to ask about. Com quem você almoça? Com quem você almoça? Who do you have lunch with? With whom do you have lunch? Almoço com minha filha. I have lunch with my daughter. Almoço com minha filha. Com quem você trabalha? Trabalho com uns 25 colegas. I work with about 25 co-workers. Com quem você trabalha? Trabalho com uns 25 colegas. Com quem você mora? Com quem você mora? Moro com três amigos. Moro com três amigos. Or, moro sozinho. I live by myself. Moro sozinho. Ou sozinha. So again... Interrogative word comes first, then você or vocês, and then the conjugated verb. 
The final question type I want to go over in this presentation is perhaps the trickiest in terms of answering it. We'll see why in just a second. I call these o que fazer questions because you have the interrogative pronoun o que, o que, meaning what, but then you have a form of the verb fazer, fazer. So you're asking the person what they do under certain circumstances at certain times with certain other people. You can add on whatever information you want to the question. So you have the formula, o que você faz? Or, o que vocês fazem? O que você faz? O que vocês fazem? And then dot, 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 representing whatever else you want to add. What's tricky about these types of questions is answering them because with the other questions we've seen previously in this presentation, the verb was supplied, the activity was already given in the question. You could simply restate it. With o que fazer questions, the person being asked the question has to come up with the activity. For example, o que você faz aos sábados? What do you do on Saturdays? Well, the answer is not referred to at all in the question, the verb. So I have to actually say what I do Saturdays, right? O que você faz aos sábados? Arrumo a casa e almoço com minha esposa. So I straighten up the house. Arrumo a casa, I'm conjugating. E almoço com minha esposa. I have lunch with my wife. O que você faz depois da aula? What do you do after class? O que você faz depois da aula? Assisto TV e faço os meus deveres. I watch TV and I do my homework. Again, those activities I'm coming up with, they're true to me, but they're not referred to in the question. O que você faz todo dia de manhã? O que você faz todo dia de manhã? What do you do every morning? Can I come up with the verbs and the answer? Acordo cedo, tomo banho e faço café da manhã. Acordo cedo, tomo banho e faço café da manhã. I wake up early, I have a bath, take a shower, and then I make breakfast. All right, that concludes my lesson on forming questions with common or everyday verbs. Hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking, and I'll try to get back to you. And if you like this video, I urge you to check out some of my other lessons on Spanish and Portuguese topics. You can find more right here or over at my website, professorjason.com. Plus, you can receive even more frequent updates by liking my Facebook page or following me on Twitter. And I'm going to put that information up on the screen in just a moment. Anyway, thanks again for watching. This has been Professor Jason, your guide to Portuguese, and I'll see you at the next lesson. Até logo. Ciao.